be one to probably to probably one of the good episodes of the day as we fight the third great war of the world. Really, we've already crushed through most of the entire lines, and we've got most of this done. And really, Africa is almost all of ours. Uh, we have basically control over everything. Yeah, we're doing really well. I mean, it's it's going to be very hard for us to lose, except for we do have a massive amount of troops of, like, Indian descent coming through our land and about to come through a massive invasion channel. But we should still be able to win because, well, we're awesome that way. Let's just leave it like that. We're awesome. So, yeah. And right now we do, as I said, have this massive Russian amount of troops. I'm crushing the biggest army they have so that we can get them all, like, so we don't have to deal with them anymore. Which is good, because I do hate, like, big gigantic armies. Let's see, you guys are probably going to tell me you guys don't want to, yeah, proceed, Great War Capitulation. You guys are now out of this war, so now Morocco is now out, which is good. I didn't really think they were going to stay in long, because they were kind of defeated. Okay, and let's see, you guys are all sieging up the land. I believe I'm actually going to keep this war actually going on for as long as I can. Why? Because I kind of want to have a, a Sicilian's army move in and help me a little bit with all these like reconquest and let's see uh, you guys go crush through all of that you guys go like crush through this this and this let's see yeah we basically crush through everything right here uh, and we yeah we basically have control over everything I'm guessing these guys are now sending the troops to either go finish off the British over here trouble is brewing well I'm not really a part of it sorry can't really help my uh, good friends the Ottomans because I can't really do much. Sorry. Okay, let's see. You guys ready? No. Okay, just keep adding, just keep adding a score to them. They'll eventually want to become alliances, and maybe then we can actually make them like think, "Hey, this is a good idea joining us." Cause look at this. We already got like good amount of war score. And let's see. Let's see. Let's dismantle the nation of the Russian Empire. Okay. We're just gonna do that. Dismantle the nation of the Russian Empire. Okay. Let's see, we already got all of our land back. Crush through everything, may I add. I mean, we got our land back really quick. Without even really fighting that hard, really. Uh, we do have to go make sure that this land does not fall to any, like, Russians. So let's just go, like, down here. Go crush through all this. And let's see. Over here, I'm not really sure who's winning. I'm pretty sure Occitania is doing their best. I'm sure France is doing their best. Uh, good thing Persia did not join in this war. Otherwise, they would have just gotten overswarmed by all these, like, Indian men. Uh, looks like over here we're having major fighting points. Uh, Djibouti is definitely fighting. These guys are definitely fighting. Uh, Sudan's not really fighting. We can call them in. Why not? Sudan, you join in on our war. Okay. And then you guys are also fighting. It's a big mess over here. In Africa, it's a big mess, but the troops are about to be less diverted now that they only have one place to fight. Like, now the troops are all going to be sent somewhere else. They still have to fight this army right here, but that's the last army in the British African region, which is going to be nice. Apparently, we also took this over here, which I wasn't really paying attention, but... Hoorah! Good us! Okay, Ukraine's going to be so well rested for this war. Like, no kidding. Ukraine's going to be like, Yo, yeah, we'll totally go to war with Russia. We have enough uh, power. Let's see, and then Italy is basically outside this war. Um, hopefully these guys will add much more than what they're going to. And I'm going to see how long I can keep this war going for, because I really do want more uh, Sicilian men to come across and go start fighting for my other wars. Let's see, we also have more Russians. Go destroy the Russians. Yeah, we, we basically destroyed the Russians. The Russians are now all gone. I mean, as you guys saw, there was a massive amount of Russians in our country a couple seconds ago. And we basically crushed through them all. <laughs> yeah, this is what happens when you guys try to mess with me. I do have a way more powerful army. But over here in China, well, that's a different story. They look like they're about to crush through everything. And there is absolutely nothing I could do to stop them. They are going to crush through everything and destroy everything in sight. This actually makes me kind of worried because once they turn all those soldiers to the sites of over here, I do believe we might be a little bit messed up. Or might have a little bit of difficulty. But hopefully not. <laughs> I mean, hopefully all of Africa will be able to fight against these massive newcomers. In fact, hey, you guys, get into this war. Okay, good. 
Okay, good. Now these guys are in the war. That means we have absolutely everyone we need to in this war. And it's really awesome. <laughs> Uh, World War 3 people. I should be like more dredgeous and more like we shouldn't have war anymore There should be no more war, but that'd be so lame if I was like that seriously We need to have as much war as possible cocaine. I don't really care about you <laughs> I hate to say that and it makes me sound like kind of a mean person when I say it, but yeah, I do not Okay, it seems like Russia's also uh, Being a little bit annoying too with that soldiers. I'm gonna go move these guys over here move you guys right over here Move you guys to go crush all these guys over here. You guys are also finishing off these guys. I'm gonna go move down, go destroy whatever forces over here. Go put one soldier right down. Hey, hey, you guys. Yeah, thank you. Give me military access. Okay. All right. Go put some soldiers right down here so that they cannot attack me. There's only two ways they can attack me, and that's from Guadalupe, and that's from there. Now, let's see. You guys are almost done destroying these guys. Uh, okay, I believe I actually have enough now. So let's see. Let's add my war goal. Wait, wait, did you guys actually add some more war goal? Full score? Nah. Okay, yeah, I'm just not gonna end this war yet. Let's see if I can get two Sicilies to actually, like, do a little bit more. Well, actually, we do need to end this war. Demantle Constructions. Sure, why not? There we go. Because I actually just realized I do need Ukrainian men to come back. Because it's gonna be really awkward if I only have a couple men there. Okay, we're going to have these guys go right there. Let's see, Ukraine. Call an ally to choose this until 1836. Oh. Dang it. Well, it seems like Ukraine's not coming into this war at all. Like, there's absolutely no possibility of them coming into this. That makes me oh, that makes me kind of sad, actually. Because I kind of wish they would have brought into this war. We could have had a really good epic battles. But right now, Russia's having major battles happening to them. Let's see, can I get some uh, military access to you guys? What? Why? Attacking ally. What? No? I'm not attacking your ally. Oh, Canada. <laughs> wait, if Canada's in this war, hey America! Hey, wait, 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 wait. I know we have our differences in our past, but you totally want to go attack Canada. So, as soon as we are ready, I want you guys to go be unleashed and go attack Canada. Okay. Oh, but that kind of stings, actually, because now I can't get... I. They actually like... Why does Germany like me? Okay, why don't you... Let me guess, attacking ally, yes. Oh, my goodness. So, you mean I literally... Okay, you guys go get sent down here so we can block up any Soviets coming. And there we go. I believe we basically blocked up all Soviets from coming into my land by basically doing that. So, let's see. We also have... Man, they're, they're completely guarded over there. I don't think I'm going to be able to land anything. Okay, and we basically got Africa underneath our control. Okay, yeah, Africa's basically underneath our control. Uh, and when we have an opportunity, we're going to see if we can get America back in on this. I'm pretty sure they're going to want to invade uh, the country. Let's see, most likely Britain's leading this war. Let's see, do they have the opportunity to, like, do everything? Offer terms, demand terms, there we go. Let's see, yes, they have the opportunity, so they're the ones that control all this. So let's see, they got 49%. Um, install a fascist... What? Uh, no. We're not doing that one, France. I'm sorry, but we're not doing that one. We don't even have to do this one, actually, now that I think about it. Okay, so yeah, that's what we're fighting for right now, is the dismantulation of the Russian Empire. Not because we particularly need it, but just because... You know what? Why not? Let's finally dismantle the Russian Empire. We'll finally gain the last three technologies of this game, guys! Last three technologies of this game! That's so cool, actually. That's really that's really awesome. Like, we've almost finished up with the entire conquest, and you guys are in rebel mode. You're in sphere by the Canadians, too, which is weird. That is seriously weird. You guys are sphere by the Canadians. Ugh. Okay, let's see. We have access to here, access to there. Uh... If these guys liked me a little bit more, like, these guys right here, if they liked me a little bit more, I'm pretty sure I'd be able to convince them to, like, join this war, but I'm not sure if that'd be a good idea. Especially considering all the troops that could potentially just swarm over them. I mean, we saw how many troops are over here. Those troops are scary. And they could potentially be coming back to go over here. 
If they were to actually all just swarm over here, we'd probably all die. I'm not even doubting it, we'd probably all die. Okay, the Heart of Darkness. What? Austria Hungary, as a major European publisher, a reader to the editions of. What? Wait, what? What? Wait, we were terrible? Wait, what the heck? I was like making a big deal about it that I was not going to be a terrible person in this game. Or well, at least that's what I said. And I even released nations in Africa. How could I be like a Heart of Darkness nation? That makes no sense. Like, I'm really, like, really against that kind of thing. What? Oh my goodness. I feel like, I feel like there's some misunderstanding here somewhere. Um, yeah, I may have to check in with that, but let's see. Uh, Britain, will you guys just accept what, what I want as peace terms? Because I'm going to go up either way. I already have what I, what I have as a war goal. Accept that, and we have a deal. Okay? Accept the full force of the... Of the Russian Empire being broken up and we have a deal. If not, then we're just gonna have to fight through that. Now I got a constant like to add the sphere because they've been away from me so long. Oh gosh. And let's see. Oh my goodness, that is a lot of men just coming through and streaming through over here. I think we have to actually um protect that area. So let's go see. Let's go have all you guys get onto the ships. Okay, um, I think we basically got, I think this is all safe now. I think we basically defeated them in the seas. Okay, we're going to go send in our troops right here and go make sure that we own all this. Because it seems like this is getting massively oversworn by uh, men we don't really want. So let's go, like, save these guys from, like, ultimate punishment, uh, expressionism. And let's see, the last technology, mass, culture, and avant-garde. The last thing we need, the last technology of this we need. This is kind of, it's kind of sad though, because that means it's almost the end of the game. Okay, let's go send these guys right here to go get that last little bit of uh, Russian land. Let's see, you guys got 50 cents. Ah, oh, man, we just need a little bit more. I mean, we don't need to get everything. Like I said, we just want mainly these two or maybe this. Mainly that, actually. We do want the Russians to be dismantled. If the gym... If the British accept that, then we're going to be happy go lightly campers. But dang, is anyone trying to protect Ethiopia? Like, seriously. Hey, guys, go protect Ethiopia. Oh my goodness, I didn't even realize they were getting invaded this badly. Oh gosh. Yeah, wow. Just, wow. Um, and now we're actually going to, you guys are actually moving in pretty quickly. Uh, Belginian versus Afghanistan troops. This is... A fight I never thought I would see. Wartime election! Bizarre! And let's see, these guys are all pushing forward, backwards. I really don't know, because I really can't do anything to go help them. Oh, gosh. Okay, but anyways. Alright. We got military access through these guys, too. Okay. Alright, and what we're going to do is we're going to make sure that this place down here is actually completely protected. With two of my big, gigantic armies, I should be able to make sure that no other armies move down here. Let's see, did any of my troops get caught up in a quick battle of some sorts? Yeah, there they are. There's my 155, you know, clippers. I'm gonna go make sure Africa's a little bit more defended than what they are, because that's a lot of troops. Oh gosh, dang, that's a lot of troops. That's seriously, like, that's seriously a lot of troops. And we're gonna have to go defend against that. Alright. And the awesome Chinese uh, people there's one army left of the Chinese Empire. I, I don't know how this army is still here. I don't know. Uh, yeah, but I'm pretty sure this is probably going to cause a lot of problems for the British to control because that's just a lot of land. Uh, somehow, Korea is actually holding up pretty well. But they haven't been oversworn yet. Uh, yes, do that. And over here, France has basically won this front. Yeah. And right now, we have 156 men that just destroyed these seven clippers. I think they're clippers. Let's see. Oh, let's destroy them. Boom, 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 boom. And explosions! Explosions! Oh, man. Okay, let's go right down here. Let's go see. Let's go get this last little bit right here. All right. And could, can we still land right there, or is it now off limits now that we don't have it under our control? Looks like a couple more rebellions are starting to pop up. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Limited citizenship, of course. Let's see. 
Uh, Russia, will you guys accept my proposal? Uh, no. Okay, Britain, would you guys accept my proposal? It's completely generous. Completely generous. I believe you guys will find it the most generous offer we have ever given you guys. Okay. Conservatives, support the conservatives. Okay. Apparently we can't do that. Let's go land our troops right here. Uh, just make sure the strait is, is unguarded. Make sure you can't send any more troops down there. Oh, we get this. We send some troops right over here. We're going to try to stab them in the back before they realize it. Sending 168 divisions to go guard this one, these little provinces right here. Oh my goodness. <laughs> other chaos, people. Other chaos. At the very end of the world, other chaos. Let's see. France and Russia are dogging it out. Occitania is really helping us out. Like, they're seriously, like, destroying Russia's power. I believe we have a lot of it occupied, actually. Let's see. So I can't really tell because those colors are really weird. Uh, yeah, I believe we have a lot of it occupied. Let's see, we have 87 troops, 163 troops, just right there, guarding my, uh, passage. Okay, let's see. Let's go fight these guys. Let's see, are there any British men? No, these are all, like, subservient nations, so they should be really easy to take on. At least that's what I would hope for. Johor, yeah, civilized nations. We're gonna figure it out. We're going to figure out, are these guys actually a worthy threat for us? And that was the last technology, guys. We've officially maxed out all the technology tree. That was awesome. Let's see. Oh my goodness, this might actually be an evenly fought battle. And on top of that, my men did not go in with full morale. That's even worse than what I ever thought would happen. Yeah. Oh, oh wait, now we're killing more. Now we're killing way more than them. Oh, now we're not. I, I guess gas attacks may work or may not work, I really don't know. Uh, but it looks like there's a massive amount of people. Oh gosh. Where are my, uh, confederation guys? Why are you guys not trying to stop this? Oh gosh. <laughs> this is funny, They're, this is annoying them. This is like, oh yeah, we, we, we know they're moving in, but we, we, we don't care. Okay, and it looks like these guys are moving in over here. Like I said, other chaos. You guys officially want our alliance back, that's good. So now we have our alliance back with Ukraine. Oh gosh, oh gosh, I wish I could call you guys in so badly. I know you guys would definitely provide much more of a front. Like seriously, we would have a way better time invading. Uh, looks like some of the British men are starting to come in. Looks like the massive amount of British soldiers are starting to come in now. Uh, that's not good. This is not helping us either. I'm hoping we could kill more than they actually are able to kill of us. Uh, that's really bad for me to say, but yeah, I, I'm not hoping for too much. Address the nation, everyone! Especially in these times of needs, we need to address our nation. Yeah! We address our nation. Get so pumped! Okay. Oh my goodness. <laughs> oh my goodness. This is... I, I'm loving this war. Okay! Oh, we might actually win this! Ha! Take that, you stupids! I don't know why they're actually... Wait, is this my land? Are you guys allied with me? Because I don't remember ever allying with you, Oman. Like, you guys aren't even my puppet. Protected by... Yeah, oh, no, you guys are just occupied. Okay, okay, that makes sense. I was like, I don't remember ever owning you guys. Yeah, okay, yes! We destroyed them! Yes, we destroyed them! Yeah! Okay, it looks like lots of, I guess, Ethiopian army rising up to defend their nation. Once these guys actually get to, um... Over here land, then they're gonna start getting like massive resistance because for some reason these guys are not moving in the the troops I don't know why I'm also going to make sure I have a good army right here on the capital to make sure I don't lose Ethiopia Because I could there actually is a possibility. I could lose Ethiopia, which would be really bad Uh, Looks like I don't know. This might be a massive stalemate. Well, maybe Occitania is moving in pretty quickly uh, France is moving in pretty quickly and you know Wow Oh my goodness. And then UK is moving, is now starting to move in their massive amounts of men. But their massive amounts of men is also halfway uh, indentured service. What? The West Indies actually landed troops. Oh my goodness. That is actually pretty amazing. Right there, that just made my day. Oh my goodness. That just. Wow. I, I don't even know what you guys are doing over here. I think you guys are just destroying Australia. I like it. I really do like it. You guys have just... Whatever you guys have done, I haven't really been paying attention, but you guys have basically done whatever you guys need to. You guys... I'm proud of them. 
Let's just say that I'm proud of them and whatever they've done so far. I want to thank you guys for watching. I'll see you guys. Light of Democracy in Pomerania. Yay! I want to thank you guys for watching. See you guys next time. Welcome to probably the final episode of today. We are still at war with our great British empires, but I've, I'm enjoying myself right now. This is... I think this is the best way this Let's Play could have got out. It's just an utter destruction. Who? We will win this war! Yay! Good job, people. You guys have the right spirit for this. Seriously. Okay. But yeah, it's it's like such a great feeling right now to know to know like what we're doing is is fun. I'm having I'm having insane amounts of fun times right now. Let's increase the relationship with America. But let's see if we can get America on our side before the final months to see if we can maybe like turn this get America in and go to go invade Canada. Okay, because I'm basically right now my army's not really doing anything, because right now we only had like two battles uh in total. In fact, let's go like divide our men up a little bit. Cause like they're taking massive nutrition over here, I'm guessing. Oh my goodness. Yeah, there we go. Taking less nutrition. And let's go conquer that back a little bit. Let's go see. These guys are being a little bit of of annoyances. Let's go do that. Let's see, they're finally starting. I believe these guys will soon start to attack these guys. Now that these guys are slowly starting to move into their nation, but I'm not sure. It's still very up in debate. And then there's <laughs> They can't get out of this war because, for one, they don't, they're not completely annexed because they still got their capital. And two, they're my puppets, so they can't really do anything. That's that's so funny. That's so funny. Uh, Russia's definitely making a comeback over here. South Africa actually landed some troops over here. Nice. And we're just, again, chilling over here with our army because we can't really do much because, like, uh, we can't move in at all. Like, literally, we can't move in at all. The crop rotation... Oh my goodness. Okay, let's see. Uh, America, let's finally get you guys back on our side. Let's see if it's even possible to get you guys back on our side. Let's see if we can get you guys to go declare war on Canada. And then maybe we'll get lots of massive war score. Maybe get them out of the war. And then maybe we'll be able to get Ukraine to let us have military access. And then maybe we can start go sending troops into actual battle. We have our troops basically crushing through all these, like, really... Well, for lack of a better word, weak men. And we have a lot of control of a lot of places. Just saying. Like, we have control. Looks like some British people finally decided to land some troops. We're going to go send our troops to go uh, defeat their army. Because we have enough. All these guys are starting to be like... Okay, destroy that army right there. Spain, Portugal, whichever one you want to do, just destroy that army. Okay, we're... And we're crushing through everything. Oh my goodness. And there's 43 men right here that we're just going to be like, boom. Boom. Yeah, that, oh man, it's so devastating. It must be indentured right now. There's no way those guys could survive if they were anything else. Let's see. Let's just like, we opened up everything. I think I can actually, su I can actually support having all you guys subsidized. Because seriously, since it's almost the last stage of the game, I don't really need to. All right, let's see. Can America join our side? No, why? Base reluctance, infamy, and all that kind of jazz. So yeah, they wouldn't be able to join in. Uh, let's see, install fascist government. I really don't get what you guys are getting all this fascist stuff. I really don't get it. Yeah. Okay. And I'm going to save it right here. Because what I'm going to do, guys, is I'm going to end the war, but... Um, because I could basically end the war right now. I just didn't because, like, I was having too much fun. Let's just end the war now. Okay. And basically go all the way to December 31st. Let's see what else can we do. We can make some states, too. Wow. Okay, so we made one more state before the game ended. Uh, we did one more conduct census. What else can we do before the world ends? December 30th, December 31st. Gain terrorist cells? Why? Sure, why not? Um, uh, I'll have this screen on just so we can kind of get like the ideas of spheres of influence right now. Okay, so we can kind of get the ideas of where my influence is the strongest. <laughs> oh my goodness. And with that, people, there we go. Uh, so. 100 years of momentous years have passed. 
100 momentous years have passed and we have entered the modern age. The world is a radically different place. How did your country do? Well, That was it guys, right there, that was the end of this Let's Play of Austria and the Popular Demand mod. And let me just say right now, this was a really fun Let's Play, I really did like all the fan support and all the suggestions and everything. This Let's Play was honestly a great Let's Play and I really did love it, and so, yeah. This is the final score of how everything panned out. I was rapidly ahead of everyone, even ahead of America. The only, the only person that was even in there with me was America, but I was still like 4,000 away ahead of them. Um, interesting things that almost came to pass, the Confederation of Domain almost became a great power, and I think I own like six out of the, let's see, I own one, two, three, four, okay, I own four of these nations that were in the great, that were in the, like, second day powers, and Occitania, so that's pretty cool. Um, ledger-wise, I'll just go quickly through this, we have all these civilized nations, factories, who had the most factories in the world, the United States, of course, we had 257, which I consider is amazing. Because we started out with very little, and then we became a lot. The most provinces in the world was the Russian Empire. Actually, it would probably have been us if we'd actually kept all of our um, all of our colonial provinces, but we didn't. Uh, who had the most population? Nationalist China, yes. Who was, again, a puppet of ours? So basically, if we add those two populations together, right there, uh, we are the biggest people in the world. I... <laughs> I'm accepting that. Leadership-wise, we had the best leadership in the world. Brigade-wise, Japan actually had the most brigades in the world. Uh, we kept at 234 because for some reason, we just could not build any more, like, like a brigades. Uh, people would just get all mad at us when we built more. In terms of ships, we had the biggest ships around the entire world. Uh, third was Mexico, which is actually kind of shocking. So, and it's, oh, it's probably because we destroyed all the British ships in the uh, massive wars we're doing. And, yeah. That's pretty much it. Absolute monarchies and all this kind of stuff. Democracy-wise, there were lots of democracies in this game. We severely spread the democracies around the world. Uh, voting rights, let's see. Are there any more? I want to know. Do we still... What do political parties only under... Only underground allowed? Let's see. How many countries still allowed slavery? Ooh, that's a lot more than I would have expected. Wait. Ethiopia, you allowed slavery? Ah. Uh. Okay, minimum wage, there's a lot of countries that still didn't allow minimum wage because we didn't get to that. Uh, capitalists, who had the most capitalists in the world? America apparently over surpassed us, but we still had a ton of bureaucrats. No, wait, not that's that's bureaucrats. Sorry, I meant capitalists. Oh, there we go. Like I thought, we had the most capitalists in the entire world. Um, education, that was nationalist China. Wow, nationalist China had the most in the entire world. Again, we can transfer nationalist China to us because they are a puppet. So anything they win is also a win for us. And we're also third, so yeah, we definitely won that category. Most workers in the world was was America, then Germany, then the UK, then us. With us having one point, wait, with us having 6.9 million, America having 11 million. Yeah, they were really productive. Soldier-wise, nationalist China, yes, and then UK, and then us. So again, we win again. Uh, total population of provinces, not really that important. Not really that important, not really that important. Graph-wise, if you want to see what we produced over the years, is what we produced. Uh, countries of status, uh, there was still there was still a couple of uncivilized nations. There were two uncivilized nations in the world, and a lot of partly civilized nations in the world. So we didn't quite get everyone to be as modernized as we wanted to, but we did pretty good. Nationalistic comparison, uh, and I believe that's it, everyone. So thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to vote on what you guys want me to watch next. This has been, as I said before, this was a fun Let's Play. I had lots of fun with it. And I want to see you guys in the foreseeable future. Bye!